ultimate call out challenge here in Indy, a truck event where these diesels have to do a drag race, a dyno pull. Some of these are hopeful of close to 3,000 horsepower and finally a sled pull. Things are going to get wild. Let's get right to it. What's up? Oh, yeah. Last minute hooker time for dyno. You guys dyno this thing yet? This combo? No. No? Any guesses? No, we just put it together last Sunday. Oh, so. Really? <laughs> he's crossing his fingers over there. He's got the fire suit on. Of course he's crossing his fingers. <laughs> oh man, I know. It's a very good idea. What are you hoping for? It stays together and makes a good number. I, of course. I'll tell you, in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Got a lot of spray on here? A little bit. Seems like that's what it takes. <laughs> I'll get the translator over here. He's, he's going to tell me the stuff you don't want to. <laughs> Sign language back here. I love it. I think it'll do over 2,000? Hope so. Hope so. Sweet. Time will tell. What kind of ET did you guys run yesterday? I made two passes yesterday, and the second pass was a 562 or 563, something like that. So. It's insane to stand next to them on their lawn, like when they're staging. I can't imagine driving. Well, we gotta get here we go. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, man. Thanks, bro. As we can tell, um, the charger exploded, and when it launched the turbine wheel out, it blew the blew the elbow off of it. It went back, hit the cold side just above the air intake, which aspirated the engine. Then there was nothing stopping it, and all the shutoffs would have failed. It continued backwards, hit the breather filter, sheared that off, and shattered the windshield. Um, it just ran away on its own oil after that. There was there was no way we could stop it. Oh. I saw the driver got out pretty quickly. Mark Broviak from Dam Performance was in the seat. He's a tuner on that truck. He's fine. Um, Cody and Elmer, who run the dyno, they're both fine. Um, the only really concern, it's an LSM 460 billet Duramax block, Wagler billet heads, but the fire sheared the dry sump oil pump drive off, belt off. So there's concern that there's going to be some pretty heavy bearing damage uh, to the bottom end. If anybody wants to see what uh, two thirds of a precision turbo compressor wheel on like a, I think it's a 102 look looks like. Is that a compressor housing? Or no, this is the, the compressor wheel. wheel. That's two-thirds of it. So 
how was the dino experience for uh, you? Uh, it's, a, it's a little warm. Oh little my god. I can't believe, they said you didn't get burned at all? No, I was good. I had fire suit on. So. And the firewall did its job apparently fire too. Firewall well, did its job, kept the debris out. Woo! Smoke on that, that it did not keep out, but that's hard. Was it instant smoke right yeah, when it instant. happened? Yeah. So Shut everything off, stood on the brake pedal trying to stop it, but... I saw the brakes glowing red. You were yeah. trying hard to stop it, that's for sure. Yeah, but by the time I went to get out, it was full of white smoke, couldn't see anything. Held my breath trying to find a door handle, and I got to the point where I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to breathe now, so... Ricky Bobby bailed out the window. Did Couldn't find a door handle, so I just bailed out the window. Ooh, that's okay, they're trying to fix it right now. Yeah, they're trying to get so it going. There's a lot to go through, but... Yeah. We're going to have to change motor, wiring harness. we got a spare wiring harness and that, so... If anybody's going to get it fixed, they'll get it fixed. Stay prepared. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. This event's wild.